my year in review 2021 in summary okay this video is 30 seconds and i refer to it as my year in 30 seconds but then it's not capturing a lot of things so like i said we we'll start from the scratch january started on a good note i was in the lorry my cousin was getting married this was all love positivity and the likes and in between i went for a job interview that was a job that made me come back to Ilori. but then we are in the gist later so this was a brother shower of my cousin's wedding i don't have a video of the wedding proper because then i was in little storage <laughs> and then when i left Ilori, i went back to lagos and then i attended the national broadcast academy lagos and this was the first day at school prepare where class was supposed to start but then it did not my friend's sister was getting married so i attended another wedding in lagos and that was around february it was a beautiful oh wedding i had fun i had not seen my friends in years in more than a year so it was really cool catching up seeing them after the whole service year and all of that and after that i went back to school because my course was for nine weeks not up to three months on this day i was running the class governor errands you know so doing this course was a dream come true for me because i'd always wanted to have a degree or a certificate in mass communication or in journalism and it became achievable this is my friend marisu I and marisu did a lot of things together while i was at nba she's an amazing friend and we're still in touch too now marisu this is an appreciation <laughs> talk or whatever it is thank you for being part of my 2021 and thank you for being there thank you so much what's your name sister my friends were there for me because nah. this year was tough a lot of things happened and then at some point i just showed out a lot of people especially after nba this particular video my friends have got me cake when i was almost done with my exams and this cake has history but i'm not going to do into that I'm talking about celebrating singleversary but then <laughs> mine was to celebrate that I was done with exams and yeah these are my colleagues my classmates while I was at MBA so I was seeing that this year came with its own challenges for me but then the highlight was my career my career this year I grew and I'm grateful that I took the course in journalism because yeah I learned a lot and it has made me more confident in myself and in my skills and this was on our graduation day it was excited yeah okay, so i was done <laughs> you know that feeling now I yeah now so after now i had to prepare and leave for ilori and ilori ilori this is my friend halima halima i do yo you know i love you <laughs> so ilori came with its own challenges disappointments my dad did not want me to come to Ilori. it was like don't come and work for free because yeah i wasn't going to be paid the first three months that i was going to be working i think that's going to be another story for another day but i insisted i was going to come in as much as later on i was going to get paid i was coming to do something that i love to do Ilori was a good place for me to start up my career and all of that and then i moved to Ilori and things changed the job did not come i had spent i spent almost all of my savings basically all of it because of course i was not earning anything so i had to fend for myself but then the experience that it came with um i had opportunity to to program and host programs i had opportunity to cast news go out to cover events to do th stuff so yeah i'm grateful for the opportunity that it came with and i learned all of what i know cannot be taken from me so that is it's like basically all of all i've learned is still going to be for me and with me and then this was a particular night that i closed late from work that's my friend mahmoud and a colleague then where so today's one of those days when you close late from work and i just wanted this to year i did a lot of little little clips of videos this. but then most of it was snapshots and that's why you see these so like, black lines in between because, because i did not do the videos because so i knew that i was going to end up doing baby, you know, my year in review but then i'm doing that so after work happened after i had to leave my friends were really supportive and i was so angry at myself because i did not really have time for family and friends my parents even came down to learn during this last celebration i didn't have the time but my friends came through for me my friends were really supportive my friends were there they made me not feel alone they were supportive they were encouraging and the love is 
massive. It makes me teary. It makes Why me are you emotional. Me? Why do I have this look of amazing friends? And then Ramadan came also. I shut out a lot of people. I shut out a lot of people and yeah, there's some people that I'm no longer friends with because at that point in time, the only way I could undo the disappointment and everything that was coming with was me to just just shut out everybody and be on my own. So if anybody's watching this and we used to be way closer and we're no longer as close as we used to be, I'm sorry. Thank you for being part of my life at some point where we're really close and not like you did anything wrong. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. You guys, thank you so much. We got the 50,000 naira that we need for the IDP camp donation that I sourced, I sourced for. I got 50,000 naira and I used it to get food stuff for people in IDP camps in Meduguri. A friend of mine over there, Rahma, helped with the whole thingy and the sharing of the old stuff. The whole Ramadan time. Hey Amira, Amira sent me this note and it was so touching. She sent me lunch alongside a note. I told you I have amazing friends. And yeah, another phase that came with its own challenge was my health. Um, my health came with its own... <laughs> That's the most um, personal stuff I'm going to be talking about here and I feel like I don't want to talk much about it. Okay, my cousin got married. My cousin got married. I'm so excited. <laughs> Thinking about it makes me excited again. My cousin got married. My friends got married. My friends gave birth. This year it was so sweet for me too. When I look at how God has been faithful, not to just me alone, to my friends and all of that. So, all of the things that it came with, yeah, it might not have been straight, straight, but I'm grateful that. I have people around I who 2021 was so good to them. 2021 was the year they found their love. 2021 was the year that they got married, they had kids, and, and all I've of that. You remember the silly girl that was insulting me in the beginning of the video? Because she has been snatched too. <laughs> okay, then I got a job. I got a new job. I told you guys that I had to leave the other place that I was. So during the time I left there, I had time to vlog more. And then I did that. And then my birthday came. My birthday came. And it was like the best birthday I'd had in a while. You guys made it an amazing one for me. I got parara, you guys. <laughs> I was so excited on my birthday. The love was massive. It was much. Mm. Wouldn't go much into that, and then this is a new place where I work. And then, if you listen to the news or if you've listened to my news of recent, you'd notice that there's more improvement compared to the one at the start of the video. The roles and contributions of women in the development of the states, according to reports, the team of the country. So, I'm grateful that this year I was able to grow career wise. I think that's the only thing I can really beat my chest and say that I improved more on, but then I still feel like imposter syndrome came in once in a while, and I feel I still have much to achieve. I still feel like I want to still achieve a lot of things. I want to work in BBC, bro. If you know somebody, yeah, come and link me up. <laughs> and then I did some modeling stuff too. I modeled for Mia Op, I modeled for sister also. Style and slay with Timar. Yeah. So all of those things to just came and there were times when I just had to refresh and not just be dwelling in too much. So much. Basically, basically my grandma was there for me this year. My grandma was like my bestie. But then before I move on, you guys should please patronize our right, this clothes that I wore, they're not my own. <laughs> I style them for her and they're available if you'd love to get yours. It was family drama. There was me giving love a chance and failing at it, dealing with disappointments. But I'm grateful that my relationship with God got better. I also found happiness with my job and everything that happened with my year, one way or the other, has helped me be who I am today. That is a better person. I'm entering the new year as a better person. I'm grateful. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you next year. Bye. Hey, just before I go, I am a voiceover artist. Patronize me. Bye-bye. This is a wrap.